Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon if you're catching the replay. Um, my name is Colleen Light, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. My website is Cards by Coco, and I try to pop on every Thursday morning at 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. It's going to be hit and miss this summer, though, because we have a jam-packed summer. So that's pretty exciting. So I'll be doing lives maybe a little bit here and there. Hey, Tammy. Good morning. Um, today is going to be a fun day. I'm doing a simple card. Those of you who have followed me for any length of time know I'm a very simple stamper at heart. But it also kind of has a little fun fold to it. So simple, yet a fun fold. So I kind of think it's a perfect card. This card is inspired by Mary Ellen Ryan. She sent me a card in the mail and it's absolutely stunning. And you know, what every demonstrator does more or less is we get inspired by other people. And that is really the fun of card making. So if you're thinking, oh, I could never come up with those ideas. I can't do this. Think again, because we all have that. And we learn from each other, tons of stuff on YouTube. I'm going to tell you all the different names I found on YouTube for this card as we make it. And my friend Tammy and I, who um, we do this together, we came up with a brand new name that is super cute for it. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to change the DSP, change the look of this card, but this is the one we're going to be making. I'm going to tell you what we came up with and the other names I found along the way. We'll get you the dimensions. So anyway, let me flip you around um, and we'll go ahead and get started here. Um, let's see. So those of you who also have been following know we have kind of, we have a puppy. Um, I think she's 22 weeks now and she's a little on the wild side. So um, yeah, if you hear me say, no Lucy, no Lucy, it's because I'm trying to get the paper out of her mouth. So I think this looks set up good enough. I hope so. It's not hopefully as dark today. Let me put on my glasses, bring you up on my laptop so I can see some comments. You'll notice that I put here this brand new mini catalog that starts the 1st of July, or the first week in July, and a new celebration. I cannot even begin to tell you how much I want to flip those pages open for you, but I can't. Um, it's just actually against Stampin' Up! rules until the until the catalog goes live, but it's really hard for me not to. If you don't have one on my website, um, you can request one from me. And um, if you don't want to go to my website, which is um, www.cardsbycoco.com, if that is not something you want to do, um, you can just leave me a message here on this thread and PM me your address. Was PM's that private message? Yep, I think that's it. So this is what this looks like. Let me know if the camera looks like it's too low or anything. Um, remember, I'm looking at it a little bit differently than you are. So feel free to pop your suggestions to me. Um, the other thing is, if I start sneezing uncontrollably throughout this, I apologize. I have horrible hay fever and allergies. And everything is gorgeous and in bloom around me. But, you know, what are you going to do? It is what it is. So, I apologize in advance. Let's see here. I'm just getting myself a little set up here. Okay, so, these are the cards. Father's Day is this weekend. So, I wanted to show you this one. This is the one I made using the He's the Man Suite. I absolutely love all the designer series paper that comes with this. I think, um, I just love this entire set. Well worth, if you struggle with masculine cards, this would be the set I would suggest you get. It comes with camping, um, cars, different designs, ties, on down the line. The colors are amazing. So this is the one I made, and this is how I finished off the inside. Just a little strip. Great way to dress up the inside of your cards. I think this one is three, I don't remember, three quarters of an inch or an inch, but whatever size you want, pop it in there, leave enough um, room for your notes. And there you go. I'll show you one other thing I made with that, just in case you didn't keep the, catch the live. I'm big into scrapbooking, so I made an entire scrapbook page. I'll put the pictures in. We have our family coming for Father's Day. So some of these, all of these components came, other than the twine and um, the cardstock here, came from that um, suite. So really a great suite. Take a peek at it if you haven't. All right. This is using 
the, let me see which one. I always forget the names. It is a use of happiness, 12 by 12 inch designer series paper. And that's what we'll be using today. Look at this. Just look at these gorgeous colors, you know, and the dyes that come with this actually will cut out your flowers. And we may or may not do that today. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with this particular card yet. We might just do it together. So, and this is another one I used, and this is where I did do the die cut. This is the Painted Textures um, embossing folder that I used, and you can find that in our annual catalog. I This is probably one of my favorite ones. Um, I just like how it gives that little raised look to it. Um, it's it's just a fabulous um, embossing folder. Okay, so I'm going to stick the dimensions right here. Oh, I forgot to write down the basic white. Well, I'll give you the dimensions later. <laughs> I went down by an eighth of an inch on everything. So I can give you the starting one. Oh, let me see, let me see. I set everything down so organized. Do you guys ever do that? You're like, oh, I'm so organized today. I'm so proud of myself. And then you start the live video where you sit down to make your card and you're like, hmm, maybe not. So this is really all it takes. I have some pool party here. I have a piece of basic white here. So, and for the base, it's five and an eighth. No, no, it's not. It's five and a half by eight and a half. And then I just went down by an eighth of an inch for all the next layers. And I love, love, love this floral design. Kinda girly, I know, may not be for everybody, but I absolutely love it. So there's two ways you can do this. Start your tear on this end, or do it on this end. I liked it better this way, but I don't think there's a wrong way to do it. So we're just gonna go ahead and start here. This card goes together really quickly. You would need another panel for in here. I just forgot to cut it. So when you finish off your card, you're gonna wanna stamp, you're gonna wanna put one of these in here, stamp a little design, put your sentiment in, and then you'll be good. I think we need to start a game that's called, what is Colleen gonna forget this video? Because it, it, there's always, I don't think there's been one that I haven't done, that I haven't forgotten anything yet. So, we're going to keep this here, just like this. Actually, this has a little smudge on it, but it's okay because we're going to cover it up. Then, all we're going to do is take our designer series paper, and we are going to figure out which way we want it to lay out on our card and what we want to leave in the card. I want this because I want that flower. I want that flower up here. Well, I think I may be taking a lot of that off. And all we're gonna do, and I am not measuring a thing, is I'm going to come down, start where you think you want it, you know, end where you think it works. You can always tear and roll back more, right? And then I'm going to do the same thing here, but I want a little bit more of that torn on this side. Can you see? It's a little bit white, so if I go this way, it tears a different way, but if I lift it up, you get a little bit more of that torn edge look. So that's that. So the names, when I was looking this up on YouTube, um, I found one under torn paper, one under tearing technique, one under the peel back technique, 3D torn technique, torn edged cards, but Tammy and I came up with peekaboo tearing technique. And that's the one I'm gonna stick with just because I think it's super cute. So here we go here. How easy is this so far? So, so far this is all we've done is cut and tear paper. We don't need to scroll this big. So I'm gonna take that much off. I wanna, you know, like I said, I mail a lot of my cards and I don't want a lot of bulk. This is what it looks like on the backside. Pick your designer series paper that you like the backside of also. That's gonna give you that little extra. Now, I am going to take my bone folder and I'm just gonna go like this. And I'm gonna start a little curve to it. It'll just make it easier for me. There we go. And before I get too carried away, I'm gonna lay this out because I wanna do my stamping first. And let's see here, I've got my block. 
I want my memento black. I was going to do it in the pool party, but I think the pool party's too light. So I'm going to do it in the memento is what I've decided. Let me grab my stamp set. So I'm using the Happiness Abound stamp set here because it has wonderful stamps in it. And I have so many birthday cards to send out. Just so very many. I am going to go with a happy birthday again. When you um, when you become a part of like the Stamping Up community, you send a lot of birthday cards. <laughs> we all kind of belong to birthday clubs on down the line. So we send a lot of birthday cards, which is so much fun. And it's, you know, sending them is fun, but getting them is great. It's amazing, the talent out there. So I'm going to, and this is photopolymer. So, you know, I think I'm going to grab my, my stamp and pierce mat to put underneath of this. So in today's, um, not today, this month's gift with purchase are the is the rhinestone jewels. And I'm not adhering this yet. I just am laying it out so I know where I want to put my stamp. Make sure I'm going to have enough room for it. Yep. Um, are the basic rhinestone jewels. So use that host code. And I, it's either $35 or $40. I actually forgot what I wrote. Um and if you make an online purchase with that, um, I will send you a brand new pack of those basic rhinestone jewels, which I absolutely love, 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 love. All right, so here we go. Ready? Let's see. Let's see if we can get this. Okay, this is where I want it. I'm going to lift that up. Feeling like I'm living a little risky, but let's give it a whirl. Pick that up. See how that's going to look. Oh. See, isn't that just perfect? How cute is that? Now we could really go all out and grab our pool party here, which I do have out, and maybe take one of these little bouquets here and do a little stamp just down here. Give it a little floral effect. How cute would that be? I think that'd be darling. So let's, so I say we do it. Put this here. I always put my photopolymers, I set them down and then I pick them up to make sure I don't stretch them out whatsoever. So I wasn't live last week. I was in sunny California, which was a big change from rainy Washington. <laughs> I told my husband, well, I don't think I'm ever going to complain about the rain again. <laughs> it was pretty warm. <laughs> So, you know, you just tap, tap, tap. You don't need to press really hard on the ink pads. Sometimes people want to smush it in to make, smush a word. Anyway, people want to smush it in to make sure they get plenty of ink. No smushing needed. Just tap, tap, tap. And there we go. So that is going to be an ever so light little blip there. I'm going to grab my Daffodil Delight. Um, hang on, coming back. I tend to walk away and then I have to come back. I'm going to grab my Daffodil Delight. This is the light Daffodil Delight. And I'm going to use the bullet tip just to add. Let's move this out of the way. Um, just to add a little bit to the center here. I don't really want to color everything in. But I think I just want to add a little bit. Of, bring that yellow out. All right. So now we're going to do a little bit of rolling. I'm going to show you how easy this is. I have seen people do it with um, toothpicks and on down the line. Um, toothpicks. What else did I see? A dowel, um, must, which must have been really small. Most people just use their fingers. Do you remember when we were kids in grade school and you'd be so bored in some sort of class and you would just fuss and fuss and fuss with the paper? Channel that. Channel rolling paper back and forth. like. And once you do it a couple of times, the paper softens. So if you don't get the look you want the first time, just unwind it and, and start again. I think I did it about an average of three times to get what I wanted. And of course, I am kind of all thumbs, so let's just do this. 
I'm gonna be, my newsletter is late this month, so it'll be going out this weekend. So if you haven't signed up for it, bounce on over and sign up for my newsletter. It's a little bit about me, but mostly all the Stampin' Up! sales. I touch on some things that I don't touch on in my lives, because um, I like my lives to be more card tutorials and not selly selly kind of stuff. <laughs> so there, look at the, how cute is that? Isn't that cute? So we're gonna put this down. For the purpose of the video, I am going to be using glue dots, just here. I would say to go ahead and use your multi-purpose glue. Um, but since I all don't think you wanna watch me hang out with me while we watch glue dry, um, I'm going to be using the glue dots just for this. I'll probably go back and use that multi-purpose glue. For those of you who are new to stamping and don't know what I'm talking about, it's this. It's the one that you can get from Stampin' Up, the multi-purpose liquid glue. It's in our catalog. And it works fabulous. All right, so you can see there's our scroll and there's our happy birthday. You know, I'm kind of wondering if I don't want to tuck another flower well, see, I feel like I would have to put that upside down if I did one there. You know what, though? I feel like that's too boring over there. So we're going in again. Fingers crossed. Hopefully we don't mess this up. You know, sometimes I can change my mind, and then afterwards I think, oh, yeah, I should have stuck with that original plan. But you know what? It's only a live video. Why not? <laughs> So here we are Thursday, we're coming up to the weekend. It does not feel like summer has started in Washington State, so I'm gonna be pretty honest with you that I'm kinda, the garden's planted, the flowers again, lightly, tap, tap, tap. You don't need to make heavy um, swipes there. So I think I kinda want this right, I'm gonna come right there. Let's see, we're gonna like that. Oh, I do like that, that kinda just, Gave that a little bit extra, and I think I'm going to pop this one right there. All right, let's see if we like that. I do like that. Okay, so that makes me happier. Um, anyway, some are, our garden is planted. Um, the flowers are blooming, tons of grass in the air, but literally it is hit and miss um, sunshine. And um, kind of when I came back from California, I was like, I don't care if I ever see the sunshine again. Although I loved California. I had the best time. Um, but even though I'm not a constant sunshine person, I sure wouldn't mind a little bit more than we've had now. Pop it in at an angle. Yep, I know it doesn't start. Tammy's right, our, our summer doesn't start. Okay, so you can see how pretty this is. If you wanted to, you could color all these in. This to me is colored in enough, so I really just wanted the outline, but that's what my eye wants to see. You know, the nice thing about handmade cards is they are completely your, your artistic eye and your design. Um, that is the nicest thing about the, the Stampin' Up. The best thing about the Stampin' Up really is the color coordination. But, you know, we all can make the same um, layout. And if you have 15 people making the same layout, you're likely to come up with 15 different versions of the card. And that's what makes a handmade card so special, right? All right, so now for the moment of truth. Are you ready? Let's see if I can get this at the right angle. Let's see what we can do. Here is our moment of truth here. Do, 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 do. So there we go. Can you believe that puppy's in here with me and we haven't heard a peep from her? I feel like I, feel like I just jinxed myself. <laughs> so anyway, this is just how easy this is. The one thing we didn't do though while we had our, our pool party and our stamp set out was our envelope. Like I said, I forgot to do the inside here. So I do wanna finish my stamping though before I do too much Further. So I'm going to take one of these flowers. Before I go too much further, I'm going to just flip this stamp off. I will get all of it. So 
I don't tend to clean my stamps when we're online. Again, tap, tap, tap. Um, I do, I do clean my stamps for, as soon as we're offline. <laughs> I, I'm a big believer in doing that, but I don't want to um, clean them while we're on camera. Okay, and I'm just going to put this one at an angle down here. There's an envelope with a little bit extra to it. All right, let's glue this one on here, our cover. So you can see just by um, using different designer series paper, how you can really create a unique design in a hurry for whatever occasion you might need. I thought this might be great for a wedding, um, you know, a congratulatory card. Um, certainly love the one I made for Father's Day. That one's for my husband. And I will show them all to you again here in a second. Oh, and here are the Glossy Dots assortment. <clears throat> I love these. I um, am going to take these here. I wanted something a little shiny. I like shiny. I'm going to put this one in the center there. And I can see I have another center there. All kind of staying in this in this light blue color pool party. I think I think these are pool party, but I cannot remember the exact color. So please don't quote me on it. And there's a good chance I've got it wrong. Oh, I meant to look it up before we came live. And then I'm gonna put one. Um, where do I want this one? I think I want this one here. I tend to always try and go on the triangle in some way, shape, or form. These are the Glossy Dots assortment. Love the how um, lustrous they look. So anyway, so this is today's card. You can see how easy, and thank you, Mary Ellen, for the inspiration. I love when I get cards in the mail. They always inspire me. So this is today's card in envelope, and these are the other ones I made. So I've made that one. And you can see I didn't cut down the scroll on this big fat one enough um, because I used the embossing folder. I should have cut that down more. This one and this one for my husband. So I've got my happy birthdays and my sending um, many thanks for all you do. And this is again today's card. So as always, um, batch your cards. Make four or five at the same time. That's why I make examples. That's why I always have cards ready to send because I am a big believer in batching, batching, batching. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's technique, which Tammy and I have coined peekaboo tearing technique. But I've already told you the other names you can find those videos under. I will be um, have the blog up here within the next hour or so. I'll finish this card off once we get off since I couldn't remember to cut the paper for the inside. Anyway, um, I always appreciate you popping in with me and joining me for these Thursday Lives. Um, have a great day, a great weekend, and I will see you sometime next week.